Hey guys, in today's video, we're talking about exterior condensation on high performance windows. Why it happens, if there is a need for concern and what you can do about it. I'm Casey Gray, the founder of The Conscious Builder, and on this channel, we help you build and live more consciously. If you're new here, go ahead and click that subscribe button, and don't forget to check out the links in the description below. Before we get into the video, I have something that I want to share with the contractors watching this. With everything that's going on in the industry, you need to be prepared to handle any kind of conversation effectively, especially the tough talks or the less than ideal situations. Stressing and arguing are huge drains on your energy and time, and this trickles into every area of your business and your life, hurting your health and your relationships, and ultimately your bottom line. And that is why I've created a new resource for you at the Conscious Builder Academy called Priming for Tough Conversations. My wife, Natasha, who is a former psychotherapist, was in school when I started my business. And I specifically remember telling her that I didn't need to know all that stuff. When am I ever going to use it? But now that is 90% of what I do in my business. So together, her and I have created this PDF handbook to help you show up for those tough conversations, calm, prepared, and in control. It's a ton of value at a great price, so check it out at the link below or go to ConsciousBuilderAcademy.com. On one of our jobs, we recently installed triple pane, high performance windows, and one morning after a clear cold night, the homeowner had noticed condensation on the exterior of the window and messaged to see if this was a problem or not. Obviously, we assured the client that there is nothing to be concerned about. And in fact, exterior condensation was a good thing. The windows were not defective and neither are yours if you're experiencing this. It is a perfectly normal and it is simply the windows doing its job of keeping your home comfortable and energy efficient. External condensation on high performing windows is essentially dew, and it's caused by the same thing like the dew on your grass. It's what we call night sky cooling. When you have a clear night sky, the grass can see outer space and gets colder than the surrounding air. Water then in the surrounding air condenses on the grass as dew. In other words, condensation forms on an object when that object's surface temperature goes below the dew point. And the dew point is defined as the temperature where the air is 100% saturated with moisture or hits 100% RH, which stands for relative humidity. Similarly, the outside pane of glass on a high performing window gets down to below the dew point of the surrounding air. Therefore, the dew is what fogs up the exterior of your windows. A great example of this is the condensation on a vehicle or on the vehicle's windows. If you park outside overnight, you've likely experienced this. And to get rid of this on a car, you turn on the heat and you select the defog or defrost setting. And this heats up the glass and clears up the window. An energy efficient window, on the other hand, prevents the transfer of heat, like a single pane of glass in your vehicle. The primary factor is a clear night sky. Nights with an overcast sky will almost never create condensation on the outside of the windows in the mornings as they see the warmer clouds rather than the cold outer space. The next most important factor is a high relative humidity or RH. With a high RH, the glass only has to cool slightly to cause condensation on the surface. Areas near the sea or other bodies of water like by a lake can have local pockets of very high relative humidity. Another factor is the low wind speeds on calm nights. With the air transferring less heat to the glass, the surface of the glass can get colder due to the radiation cooling of the night sky. Now different windows are also affected differently by this night sky cooling. Windows that have no overhangs protecting them are more susceptible to a greater amount of external condensation, for example. 
The main determiner for window performance in terms of external condensation is the temperature of the glass itself. When you install a high performance window, you increase the possibility of external condensation as you lower the external surface temperature. Double glazed windows generally never experience this because of the heat loss that can get through them. And that is why it works on your car as well, or it happens on your car, I should say. Why does it do it on some windows and not others, you might ask, if, you, if you're looking at all the windows in your house? Well, whether or not a window develops exterior condensation is actually a rather complex bit of environmental and performance issues. However, uh, we'll get into some examples of what affects it here. It's, you're much likely, for example, to develop condensation on a cloudy night, like I already mentioned. But if there's any trees or other obstructions uh, close to the windows or the overhang, like I mentioned, or brushes under the windows, uh, any, anything that can potentially block that window will affect the formation of that condensation on the exterior of the window. Now, having experienced this in my own house, uh, this is the first time I had experienced it was a while ago when we built our passive house. I found that the greater factor was even the moon. Whichever windows or parts of a window even had a clear sight to the moon would be the ones that would condensate. So the overhangs would actually cover part of the window, but not the entire window. So I get condensation on part of it. Now, if you're wondering how to get rid of this, don't <laughs> let nature do its thing. The sun in the morning will burn off the condensation fairly quickly, similar to how the sun dries up the dampness on the grass or on your vehicle if you park outside overnight. The fact is that this moisture is the result of high performance windows doing their job well. If you want to learn more about windows, check out the three day cottage series in episode six specifically, which you can watch here. We discuss framing, decking, and windows. Until next time, I'm Casey Gray, and remember to live consciously.